fine. You just got to watch out for storms. Probably a bigger threat will be afternoon pop up storms at the beach. That's what we're dealing with today. Some cloud to ground lightning. Look at that right there. Strikes over South Mountain State Park again. Remember, you hear thunder roar. Go indoors. Wait 30 minutes after the last lightning strike or the thunder you hear. Another storm is developed here right around Lincolnton. There's that big plus sign. That's a positive lightning strike. Most lightning strikes are negative in charge. When we see a positive one, those are usually stronger, uh, longer lasting lightning strikes. Those are the ones that can cause house fires like we saw unfortunately last night in parts of Cabarrus County. We're seeing the sea breeze come in from the coast, making some movement back into the Piedmont. So we could see showers develop at any point this evening, even after sunset. So don't be surprised if you see that happen, but they'll be isolated 90 today, but 73 this morning. Very warm start to the day, but that was an important 90 because that puts us one away from last year's total for the whole year, and it's only August 5th, so we're going to blow past last year's total. At this point last year, we had 37, so we were going to blow past that. We're already above average. I'm curious how high we'll get up there. I think we'll get into the 60s at least, maybe even the low 70s for dew point, or for uh, days in the 90s. Tomorrow, if you've got afternoon plans, do things early because right around 4 o'clock, that's when the storms start to bubble up. And then 5, 6, 7 o'clock, bad timing for the Charlotte FC game. Stay tuned to us and everybody else uh, 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 with the Charlotte FC at the stadium because if there is lightning within eight miles, they will uh, have a lightning delay for that game tomorrow, especially during the tailgate. Be cautious as well. Make sure you have a place to seek shelter that's not outside and please stay away from trees. That's not a shelter location. Heavy rain will be a big concern in the mountains and foothills tonight, tomorrow and Sunday. Heavy rain is issue. Slow moving storms, lots of tropical moisture means heavy rainfall rates. So while not everybody's going to see rain, the storms that get going are potentially going to produce one to two inches of rain per hour. And just to show you what this looks like on our future cast, again, I wouldn't read too much in the specific spots, but look at the range of numbers, one to two inches in some of the heavier downpours and then other areas near zero. That's kind of the nature of this weekend storm. So it's kind of all or nothing set up with these thunderstorms over the weekend. So if you're out and about and you get caught under them, they are not going to be cheap little showers or little light showers. They are going to be heavy downpours, gully washers, low 70s for dew points. That's kind of locked in place for at least the next six to seven days. That's perfect weather for the mosquitoes, the skeeter meter. This is the worst I've seen it all summer and it hasn't really improved because it's been wet, it's been muggy, light winds, all the things mosquitoes love. We need drier air or some wind or cooler temperatures, and we're a long way from all of that. So the weekend forecast, hour by hour, higher storm chances, I think, on Saturday than Sunday. But honestly, both days after 4 o'clock, that's the, that's the time frame you need to be watching out for. Same story for early next week with those low 90s, but hey, maybe some hints of slightly cooler. I know it's not dramatically cooler, but mid to upper 80s possible by late next week into next weekend and maybe some lower rain chances. Morning lows in the 60s actually would feel pretty nice. Oh my, bring it on. Brad, thank you.